Hello guys, my name is Terry. Um, I work at Platte River Fly Shop. Um, I'm starting a new video series on fly tying and fly fishing, uh, instructional videos. Uh, today uh, is my first video, so wish me luck. Um, today we're going to be tying a uh, Terry's Crawdad. It's a pattern that I developed for uh, southern Utah winter fishing, but it'll be good all year too. Uh, it's a nice little pattern that you could basically use anywhere. Oceans, fr fresh water, brackish water, wherever. The tools we're going to be using are Dr. Slick scissors, uh, clear cure goo, the hydro. Uh, you could use this dubbing thing if you want, I don't. Uh, right bobbin, magnum, uh, sir mag. Uh, a sharpie. I'm using the hot orange. I need a bodkin and a threader and a Renzetti traveler vise. Okay, as far as materials go, uh, you want a Gamagatsu SC15 uh, 2H. I, I like I like the, the thicker ones because I, I can also uh, uh, use this fly for bigger fish, you know, like redfish, tarpon, all those good ones. So you could use a normal SC15 or something similar. Uh, this pattern, I, today I'm going to be using a, a 4 uh, The thread is going to be GSP and I'm going to color it with a hot orange sharpie. The lead eyes, uh, large, you want it to sink fast, uh, so you could use medium I suppose, but I like to use large. Uh, this one I'm going to be using uh, yellow, because I ran out of orange, so uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter I guess. Alright, the legs, you want to use uh, rainbow shimmer legs, these ones right here, and then uh, Hairline makes really good ones I like. Uh, the Grizzly Bar Medium Neon Orange and Fluorescent Char Chartreuse. Alright, the Flash, uh, you want a Rainbow 6943 and uh, Copper 6986. And then uh, there's some uh, Crystal crystal Flash. Alright, Hot Orange and Red. Alright, for the dubbing, we're going to be using the hairline uh, Hairs Ice Dub Rusty Orange. Alright, for this Terry's Crawfish pattern, you want to put on your hook. Make sure it's secure because you, you want to, we're going to be tightening up the thread a lot, you know, make it secure and durable so you can fish it over and over. So, make sure it's tight on there. And then, Take your bobbin with your thread on it, your GSP, or um, you, you could use other strong thread, you know, like, I don't know, uh, whatever. Just strong th thread, that's what you want. Alright, so take out a couple feet. Alright, now get your marquee, I mean your sharpie, and uh, <laughs> just color it. It might actually be a little easier to put it on here first. Okay. Hold on a second. You can just do it this way. Alright. Then uh, take your Dr. Slick scissors, sharp ones. Cut off the thread right here. All right, now color the thread. You you could tie this this fly, you know, several different colors, you know, depending on where you're fishing, the fish you're trying to catch, so forth. I think my sharpie is. Running low. All right. 
Now, just roll it back up like this. All right. Now, what I like to do is just go down, put a base of thread. It doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, I'm going to color it afterwards. It's easier that way. Save me some time. All right. So go keep going all the way down to about, oh, I don't know, right there, and then go back to about, yeah, right, right here, to the eye of the hook, all right? Now, if you want, just do this. With this red zitty vise, you can just move it around and make it easier on yourself. All right. All right. All right. Now, what you want to do is uh, grab your Tiger Bar Magnum Rabbit strip. I'm using a uh, black, orange, over yellow. All right. Now you want to cut off about an inch, find a decent piece. You know, you can wet your fingers a little bit so that you control the hairs, you know. Alright, cut off about an inch. I don't know, see see what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to put it right here. It's going to be like a weed guard. Alright, so we're going to just put it right here. So, so, yeah, right there. So, okay, here we go. What I'm going to do is pull back the hairs. Alright. And, uh... There, that'll do the trick. All right, see that? All right, now you can uh, cut off a little bit right here, but I don't, I don't think I really need to. You just go, just yeah. All right, all right. Now. Flip your vice around. You want the hairs to go this way. All right, put it on the vice right here. Don't cover up the eye of the hook. Tie it on. A couple of loose wraps. Now tighten it. Uh, that's uh, yeah. I want this this fly to last. So, all right, there we go. All right. All right. Now, we want to put on the uh, lead eyes. You could use, you know, these two if you want, or these, or, you know, th there's several different kinds you could use. But I'm using these ones here. I like them. All right. Now this this goes right on the top here. So you want to put it right. You just go like that, okay? One over, then like like that. All right. Now, now, now this way. Okay. Now tighten it up. Okay. Make sure it's level. Then you want to do some figure eights. All right. You see that? Now tighten it up. All right. Now do a couple here, and then. A couple in the back. Ow! That's sharp. That's why I like these hooks. All right. All right. There we go. Now it's on there. It ain't going nowhere. All right. Yeah. Make sure it's level and all that. All right. That's good. All right. Now we're gonna put on the flash. So. Grab your uh, flash of boo and your crystal flash. Uh, I'm this particular pattern was developed for largemouth bass in the winter, but it could be used for ocean fish, brackish water fish, all kinds of fish, big trout, whatever. So you want to use the flash accordingly. So you don't want to use too much for certain fish, but for bass, you know. 
you, you could put some flash on there. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, that's about good. All right. All right. There's that. I'm gonna set that right there. All right. Now, now I'm gonna grab the red. All right. About the same amount. Three. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I like the red. The red is good on this fly. All right, about that much. All right. Now, flash of blue. Okay. Uh, for bass. Uh, oh, those are cut. Hold on. Well, all right, like that. Three or four, or yeah, or five. All right, and the other flash, flashy boop. Then that'll do it with the flash. All right. Uh, make them level. All right. All right. Now, <clears throat> what I did was I cut off like an inch or so more than I need, so I could just do that and then just pick them up like this. All right. All right. Now, just go like that, and down here, and you want to put the flash right here, right behind the lead eyes. All right, so tie that. Do a couple loose wrap. One loose wrap. Now tighten it down. All right. I should be coloring this thread, but I, it really doesn't matter that much. All right. There's three is good enough. Now pull it back, just like that. All right. Three, four, five, six. All right. That's about what I do. All right. There. Now. You want the let you want the flash to come out to about oh inch past the bend of the hook, bend of the shank. Ready? Just like that. All right. Now we're gonna put on the legs. Rainbow shimmer legs. These are really good ones. I like these. All right. Take off a couple. Set them down right here on your vise. And then a couple of fluorescent chartreuse and uh, neon orange. All right. All right. Now, what you could do is you could double these up, just like this. All right. See what I did there? Now, with the rainbow shimmer, you, I like these ones to go a little longer. I don't know why. I don't. It just. I just do. Yeah, about like that. All right, same place right here. Alright, a couple loose ones. 
I grab them, pull them tight, alright. Yeah, alright, just like that. There we go. Now, go over it so it flattens it out a little bit. Go down about an eighth of an inch, and then go back. Alright, just like that. <coughs> All right, now we're going to do the claws. So grab your uh, rabbit strip, Magnum, the big one. All right, man, this is all right. You the the you want the hairs to go? Okay, flip your vise around. All right, because the fly is going to sit like this, so you, you want the claws to go like this, okay? And I like to make them. I don't know what is that? Two inches? Yeah. So take off the hairs right here at the tip. It makes tying on, tying on the hook a little easier. All right. So, just set it right here, right here. Now, when I have my finger out there like that, what I like to do is to go like this. All right. And then a uh, couple loose, all right. Now tie it, tie it, tie it down. All right. Now pull it back like this. Now it's kind of tricky with with the bobbin. You wanna you wanna make sure that the 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 claws are facing the right way. So. Just do that, okay? And then that, like just like that. And then tight, okay? There we go. That, that'll do the job. All right, now do the other side. Make sure they're, they're, they're even. Now pull the hairs back where you where you where you want to cut it. And just cut it. Alright. I'll weigh your fingers a little bit. You can control this hair. This rabbit hair is real nice. I like to hunt the rabbits and use it to make my own. But this this hairline stuff is really good. All right, now same same deal. All right, just right here. This away first. Tie it down. All right, a couple of loose ones. One. All right, two. All right, now tighten it down. All right. Now, make sure your hairs are facing the right way. See, we're going to cover that up right there in a minute. Watch, I'll show you. So it doesn't matter that it's all twisted right there. Because I don't, I don't, you don't really need to worry about it. And I'll show you why here in a minute. Alright. Just make sure they're going the right way. Alright, I'm gonna go like that over. Alright. To control a little better. Alright. Now a couple more like that. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on some dubbing. 
All right, so grab your uh, hairline, hair's eye stub, r rusty orange. You could use uh, the tool here, spin it. This here thing. But I just, I just throw it on there. All right. You just grab about, about that much. All right. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now wet your fingers. Make a, make a noodle right here. All right. All right, I think I'm going to need a little bit more here. All right. Make your noodle about that size, about, I don't know, four inches. Alright, just like that. Now, tight, okay, go around, right behind the claws, just like that. Alright, now go over one, alright, now do a figure eight and go over this way. Alright, now, just like that. Just make sure the eye of the hook is accessible. Okay? There we go. Now, we can make it pretty later. Okay? Alright. Once that is done, you want to put a little bit more on and make it pretty. Okay. See that? Just about like that. Okay, now make it make it pretty. All right. Now, to make sure this stub doesn't go nowhere, what I like to do is go like this. Right behind you, there's the, you see the, 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 the head, the uh, dumbbell eyes right there? Right there. Right in front. Make sure you're still on the hook though. Alright. Now. This is a little tricky here. So, what you want to do is you want to, you want to grab these claws. Pull them back, all right? All right, yeah, we're, we're actually using these. I didn't include that in the, the video part, all okay? right? Because we're gonna have to, because the eye of the hook. All right, so just like that, all right? Make sure that eye is visible. Just like that. Alright. Now. Tight. Alright. Do a couple half inches. Oops. All right, tight. You only need to do one actually, because we're going to put on some of this good stuff here. Uh, 
the uh, Clear Cure Goo Hydro. Alright, where is it? One second. Oh, fell on the ground. All right, that explains it. All right, here you go. Take some of this here. Put it. Take your bodkin. Put it through the the eye of the hook. All right. You know why. And then put on this stuff here, hydro. Just everywhere, basically. I like to do this before I cut the thread. Just make things a little easier on yourself. All right. Just like that. That's good. Now take your neon light. All right. That should, should be sufficient. All right. Yep. Now you can cut off your thread because it ain't going nowhere. And because we put the bucket in the eye of the hook, you'll be able to thread it easy. All right. Oh, those are my hair scissors. Let me grab grab these ones. These are really really these. Dr. Slick scissors. Yeah, see that? Alright. So, when you fish it, uh, you could use a fly, you could fish it with a fly rod, of course, because it's a fly, but you could also fish it like a jig with a bait caster rail, spinner rail. Just tie it on and throw it in. Uh, in the wintertime, it sticks to the bottom and bass love it. But most fish will love it. Do you see that? Yeah, it's pretty realistic and uh, works well. Um, so, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, uh, leave uh, uh, comments in the in the comment section below. Uh, please subscribe. This is my first video. I plan on doing uh, three or four or five a week. Uh, so, thanks again. Tie lines.